Andre, this is not funny considering that my sister... And what about your sister? How can you ask about her? Do you think she's going to be happy to hear that you're trying to steal her life? Andre, I don't understand what's going on. I'm Anna. Yana's sister, the sister of your fiancé. She is in the other ward right now. You can ask the doctors and they'll take you to see her. Exactly how long do you think you can keep up at this little game of yours? Are you going to change your face? Plastic surgery? Once those bandages come off, how do you expect to prove you're her? You can ask whoever you like. My mother, the doctor, I am Anna. It hurts so much that you can even accuse me of being capable of doing such a thing. Well, aren't you talented? But I don't believe you. Don't you think I know about the pregnancy? Your sister doesn't have a birthmark on her foot. Of course you're not, Anna. How dare you say you're Anna? You may be fooling all the doctors. But I'm sure your mother and Dennis will find out everything right away. You hear me? Should I go get them? Tell me! Fine, I'm Yana. Happy now. Who do you think you're doing here? What's it all for? That? Yes. For that. Now listen here. Either you tell them everything, or I do it for you. I never thought you could be that cruel. Me? I'm just the fool who wanted to marry you, and have a family with you, have kids with you. I dreamt of a son who would have my eyes and your smile. Why are you doing this to me? And not to mention everyone else. You're fooling your family, your friends, and the Dobrovolskis. How dare you paint me out to be such a monster? You speak as if I never loved you. But I did. I was just delaying the abortion. Because I didn't want to push through with it. But we lost the child. You lied when you said you loved me. You know that's not true. Mm. You're a selfish liar, and I wish I never met you. Who gave you the right to decide my fate? To decide what I was going to do or say? Who the hell said you could take my life in your filthy hands? Tell me now, why did you ask him if he not to take me to the morning show? I thought it would be better for you. I thought it would be right. Better? You thought it would be better? How could you? If I had been in that show, I wouldn't have rushed with Anna to Kiev that damn day. And I wouldn't have been here now. How dare you say you love me? <gasps> this is all your fault. Now because of you, my face is in pieces. Get out. I'm sorry. I want you to leave me alone. I was wrong, Yana. I was so wrong. I know that you shouldn't have gone. I love you. I love you. Do you understand me? I can't live without you. Please, dear, tell me how I can fix it. Please forgive me. Just leave me alone. And let me look after this myself. I can't. Listen to me. The real Anna won't survive anyway. 
Dennis, is that you? Please wait. Hello, Dr. Boris. How are you? Good afternoon. Any news? Yes. Well, you'd be glad to know that the past two days have gone well. Your fiancé has improved noticeably, which means we can start reconstructive surgery on her face. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. For everyone, I am Anna. You have no choice but to go along with it. Now leave me. I can't do that. If you don't do it, I will kill myself. Don't you dare say that. I know what's going on. It's all about you, isn't it? Isn't it? First your parents. And then after them, our child. Do you want me to die just like they did? Is that what you want? Don't say that, Yana. Uh -huh. That's not true. You know that's not true. Why don't you leave me alone? I don't love you, and I never did. Don't you understand that? <laughs> but you have just said that. How can anyone love such an idiot? Such a sentimental fool like yourself? Go away. Go away and never come back. Nazar, please tell me how you could confuse it. The Romanians wanted foundation blocks, not these ceiling slabs. Do you see the difference? Did you know what Nazar had ordered? Well then. Lesia, have you lost control of your people? Hmm? If one thing is clear, is that no one can do Anna's job better than her, no matter how simple. Our Romanian customers are waiting for a big order of foundation blocks, but all our warehouses will be stuffed with ceiling slabs tomorrow. What do we do now? Maybe we could sell them to our other customers at a reduced margin to get rid of the overstock? Well then. And what will we do to make up the difference in price? Are you going to cover it? You don't have the money. Listen to me carefully. If we don't solve the issue with the Romanians, we will have to pay a penalty. You'd better solve this. Do you hear me, Nazar? I want a solution by the end of the day. Get back to work. But how are you going to live with all this? You're going to keep lying? You're going to marry Dennis, huh? It's none of your business. Oh, hello, Andrew. I just came to see Anna. My darling, how are you? Is that it? Of course not. Why don't you leave me alone? I don't love you and I never did. Don't you understand? Andri, where are you? The meeting's about to start. We're all here waiting only for you. I'm on my way. Andre has been acting weird, don't you think? He looks like he's going insane. I don't get that guy. Yes, me too. Maybe because he's in pain over Yana. How have you been doing? How's your family? I'm fine. My grandma asked me to send you her love. My mother has been very busy.
Some family friends from Kiv are here to visit, so she is with them all the time. Tell them I say hello. Tell your grandmother I say thank you for sending love. I'd say hi to your friends from Kiev, but I don't know them. Someday I will introduce them to you. They're good people. How's everything at work? We've run into a few problems. What happened? They say we have some problems with that account you closed with the Romanians. That sounds odd. Do you remember the penalty interest you included in the contract? Um, I'm not sure I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm... I'm not feeling very well. Let me call the doctor. No, no. There's no need. Dr. Boris said that sometimes it can happen that I feel some pain. I just need to lie still. Will you stay and sit with me? Of course I'll stay, but I'm afraid I can't be long. By the way, the doctor said you're well enough to get your reconstructive plastic surgery. At long last, we'll get to remove these bandages. Finally. Finally, I'll have a face that you'll be able to kiss. I can't wait to do that. Well done. The trip was quite successful. The material is good. I hope the next business trip will be as good as this one. Although the topic is a little bit trickier, our angle should be pretty interesting. Andre, what do you think? Bobovich? Will anyone explain to me what is going on? Okay, so that's two orders of chicken for you, right? With an extra order of potatoes, all right. It will be about 10 minutes, okay? Problem solved. <gasps> oh, wow, that's great, and all thanks to Petro. Really? That's great. I thought for sure we'd have to buy a new one. I have no idea how to thank you, Petro. Bless you. I pray that God blesses you and sends you a woman who will love you and take care of you. Mm, yes, yes, of course. I feel like I saved the world. I want you to feel like a real chef in this restaurant. Uh -huh. And like an electrician, a plumber. I mean it. Full-time job. What do you think? Only a fool would let an offer like that slide. I accept, of course. So, Rihanna, go and take orders, and I will check the stove. Hmm? What do you say? We should go celebrate? Mm -hmm. Of course. I'm surprised she didn't change the name of the restaurant in your honor. Why don't we go out for dinner? I hear that there's a very good pizza place around here. What do you say? Then maybe we can talk for a bit? <laughs> I was kind of joking. But since there's a pizza involved... <laughs> oh, come on. It will be fun. We'll have a good time. I'll pick you up a dime. What do you say? Okay? Hold that thought. Olya, Andri is at the door. Who? So, is it a date? Hmm? Um, well, you, but there hmm? is nobody there. Oh, will you look at that? What do you mean? Because you're hallucinating. Oh, come on. I worked my magic on you, huh? Hi, Dad. Hello, son. Tell me what's really going on in the office with the Romanian contract. Do we need to attract lawyers, or do you have it under control? How did you find out about that? We tried to keep it in hush-hush. I always keep my ears open. So don't you think that you can start hiding things from me, son? I didn't plan on hiding anything from you, Dad. 
But after all, you did entrust the company to me. Yeah. So, I give you my word that I'm going to look after it. Okay. Now sit down and tell me everything. Uh, 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 enough. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Get your hands off me. You're hurting me. Shut up. <laughs> Never touch some man's woman. Got it, idiot? If everything you're telling me is accurate, as far as I understand, the partners of the remaining company are good guys. We should be able to work something out. Yes. When we spoke with them, they seemed to be very understanding. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a great performance. I haven't seen anything so entertaining in a very long time. Yes. Those actors can really breathe life into their roles. Everyone was brilliant. Dennis, you promised you would watch the play with us. Yes, I know I'm sorry I couldn't join you this evening. I'm afraid I have some work I need to attempt to- I've got myself another workaholic. Can't you forget about work for one evening and spend some time with our lovely guests? Larry, you know he can't. And why not? Unfortunately, the company had a pretty tricky problem that needed looking after immediately. And your son looked after it. And he did it perfectly. Dennis, you know I'm always proud of you. What are you thinking? Did you see that beautiful couple that drove past us there? Don't you think it's so romantic? Did you see that big carriage riding into the night? She in her white dress, him in his tuxedo, like they would live happily ever after? Rubbish. I beg your pardon? Because who needs all that anyways? Marriage, rings, glasses, bouquets, limos, carriages? It's possible to live happily ever after even without them. Do you think so? I know so. So what are you doing next to me then? I'm strolling in the park, breathing fresh air. It's a good evening all around. Oh, is that the case then? Petro, I don't know what you're thinking. But if you don't make an honest woman out of me, you have another thing coming to you. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Going for a walk. Come back here. That's what we were doing, weren't we? Maybe you should consider <laughs> online dating. Maybe I will consider online dating. Andre, where have you gone? What's going on with you? Why did you skip work? We're all here waiting around for you. I've always dreamt of a big, beautiful cottage out in the woods. Something with a huge garden and flower beds. Consider it done, my dear. Here, try it. I cooked it for you, dear. Have a taste. Thank you so much, Katerina. Um... Mm. 
and I've been doing some research and found these on plastic surgery. I thought you might want to take a look at them. Great. Thank you. Of course. There's also Wi-Fi here, so here you go. You can read some of the articles on the internet. Thank you. Unfortunately, we have to go now. I will see you tomorrow morning. Mm. Oh, goodbye. Be strong, Anna. Try to cheer up, dear. Thank you. Mom, let's go. Get well, my dear. Thank you. See you soon. Lisa. Yes? I think uh, I will walk. You go ahead. Do you think Grandma is okay? Why don't you tell me? Whoever leaves the hospital in a good mood. That's true. Mm -hmm. Hi. Are you okay, Andre? You look like you could use some help. I don't know what you're talking about. These are my parents. Valeria Anatolievna and Rihori Markovic. Nice to meet you. This is Andri, Yana's fiance. Oh. Andri, I'm so sorry about Yana. But just like Anna, I'm sure she will pull through. Every day Anna is getting stronger and stronger, and I'm sure Yana is too. Is there something wrong with what I said? I didn't mean to offend him. Perhaps Yana is not doing so well right now. <sighs> so, my love. Like you said, I should forget you. But I can't. And I can't lie either. What am I supposed to say? To your mother. To mine. But there's always a way out, you know? Isn't there? My dear, please forgive me when I'm gone. I'm sorry. Don't be angry, okay? I'm sorry. You said I had to be strong, but I can't. I mean, I'm strong, but I'm not strong enough. <sighs> Guess I'll see you on the other side, Anna. Well... I'll see you up there, and I'll explain everything. Hmm? I'll see you very soon. It's crazy down here. We might be the lucky ones. Marina, where's Popovich? 
Uh, I don't know. He hasn't picked up the phone. Find a way to get a hold of him. What the hell does he think he's doing? I understand his fiance is at the hospital, but there's no excuse to let life go. If you have obligations, you have to fulfill them. If Andre doesn't turn up tomorrow, I will bloody fire him. Understood? I'm going to find him. Is he having a party in there or what? Andre! Andre! Open up, it's Marina! Andre! It's Marina! Open the door! I'm begging you! Come on! Open it! Should I break down the door or what? Open the door! Hello? Police? You shouldn't have saved me back there. You're such an idiot. What were you thinking? Suicide is a sin. Don't be so stupid. While a person is alive, it's possible to change everything. When you're dead, everything is final. There's no turning back. That's it. Didn't you think of your parents while you were planning your death? Your mother didn't bring you into this world for you to end it. Mm -hmm. Can't you see I'm perfectly fine? You're full of crap. Why don't you help yourself? You just have to believe in yourself. Listen to me. Have faith in yourself, Andre. Thank you, Marina. I definitely owe you one. I promise to be good from now on. Everybody's waiting for you at work, by the way. Timothy wants to give you some big special project. I'm not going back. Not going back? What do you mean? I need a serious break, Marina. Recently, there have just been too many things. Too many things on my mind. You just need a break from it. A break from everything that's going on. Hello? Anna, my dear. I'm at your place right now. Tell me what I can help you with. Hi, Mom. When will you come to see me? Next time you come, could you please bring me my books on marketing and my diary? All the diaries? No, not all of them. Just the recent ones. I think they're in the drawer next to my bed. My dear. There's something I want to tell you. It seems to me that Anna hasn't been the same since the accident. There are just a few things I've noticed. Just some, some changes in her character. Like she's a completely different person. Nana. Anna almost died. And her sister is in the hospital in a coma. Nobody knows if she's going to survive. Who wouldn't be changed by all of that? Well, you're probably right. One thing I know for sure is that Lilia doesn't stand a chance with you. Are you ready for tomorrow? Dr. Mikhailo, the world-renowned plastic surgeon, will arrive. Your father has invited him over for dinner. That's great. I look forward to meeting him.
Anna, sweetie. I'm here. How are you doing today? Hi, Mom. I'm okay. Have you brought the books and the diary? Yes, I have. But I'm not very sure that these are the right ones. I think these are the most recent ones. Here. Yes, these are the ones. Okay, great. Well, it seems like you're in a bit of a better mood. Mom, how is Yana? Oh, it's really too early to say. She's still the same. Mom, don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. You know, I've been thinking. I think your sister's going to need a miracle. Or some love. I know that much. I know Andrea loved her a lot. But I don't know what's going on now. I was hoping you would help wake her up. I... I just keep praying she'll wake up. Did he visit Yana yesterday? No, he fell ill yesterday so he couldn't come. But he said he'll be back as soon as he feels better. It's okay, Mom. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be all right. God can hear your prayers. Now, let's see what we have here. Hello, dear. Oh, Katanina, I wasn't expecting you. How are you doing? Feeling a little better. I just wanted some time alone with you. Of course. Anna, I want you to listen to me. I know you've been through a lot. And I know that you've still got a long way to recover from this. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's just that you keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you for every little thing. To Dennis, Riori, and to Valeria. It's not like they've done anything special for you. They're only doing what anyone else would do. You act as if these are not things someone's fiance would do for them. Of course, his family is going to help you. I've always admired you for your strength. I hope this doesn't change you. Thank you for all the encouragement, Katerina. I, I think I just feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I haven't been myself lately. I just feel like everyone is doing so much for me. I truly don't know how to repay your kindness. Stop. Stop it. Don't you worry. Why don't we just focus on getting you and your sister recovered? Thank you so much, Katerina. I'll come back again. Hmm? Oh, my God, oh, my God. What the heck is going on here? I must be going crazy or something. I don't know what I just witnessed. But I don't think that is who Dennis thinks it is. It's not. But how come Dennis doesn't see her? Am I going insane? Well, 
I can't tell you how sorry I am that such a tragedy happened to your daughter-in-law. I will do my best, but this is going to be a challenging process. This type of operation is very complicated. I will have to see as I go along. I must be honest with you, but there's no guarantee that we can replicate her original facial features. Anna was really looking forward to your arrival. Yes, of course. This is going to be a long process for her. It's going to be a real test of her character. These things are never all that easy. Dr. Mikhailo, I've been doing some reading about plastic surgery. Uh, is it correct that Anna is going to need several operations? I think so. I think that we will have to examine the patient first. Based on the injury sustained by her accident, the available clean skin that we'll be able to graft, and how quickly her body will heal naturally in the process are all factors. I can see that you are a true professional. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mikhailo, for agreeing to help Anna and her sister. And about her sister, she is recovering too, mm -hmm. so we'll have to discuss mm -hmm. how she can be helped. Well, we'll have to see. It is hard for me to tell. She'll need to come out of her coma first. We all look forward to that. May I just ask, when do you think you can start on Anna? Tomorrow we'll... I'll head to the hospital to assess the situation. And I'll just say... Maybe a day or two from now. If you don't mind me saying, Doctor, before the accident, she was very beautiful. Not that it matters to us, but I'm sure that he will love her no matter what. But can you restore Anna to her original beauty? It will be challenging, but... Yes, I think we can. Oh, that's great. Dennis. Go fetch some other photos of Anna to help the doctor. Thank you. I think the ones we have now are sufficient for what we have to do for the time being. Later, though, I'll need a good number of other photos. Ones from various angles. Maybe some, uh, from her profile, and somewhere she's not wearing makeup. Any photo you have. Well, if we're done here, I think we, we should go to the hospital and see her, and maybe we can get some notes from her physician to start. A real subject of an offer on this market is the responsibility of the manager. What a load of crap. I wonder if there's anything in here about Lesha. Oh, what do we have here then? Ah, oh, here. I had a dream about Dennis last night. I woke up and couldn't fall back asleep. I was thinking about him and couldn't concentrate on my work. And Leja quickly noticed that something was going on with me and she comforted me. What would I do without her? I really see Leja as someone who's helped me out so much this year. That's it? I wonder if there's anything else in here. Here. I don't know what it is I can do to help me forget you. Just the sound of your name transports me to heaven with the angels. <laughs> what a drama queen. <laughs> this might as well be a soap opera. <laughs> if I could erase my memory and start from scratch. The memory of our time together haunts me like a dream and a nightmare at the same time. <sighs> Seriously, Anna, oh my gosh. What are you doing with these? You think it'll help you become Anna? It's none of your business. Give that back to me. We agreed that you wouldn't come back here again. About that. I've been thinking. Andre. Dennis. Andre, give the phone back to me. You want me to answer it for you? Andre, please. I'll do you a favor and tell him everything. Please give me my phone. Hello. Yes, hello, my love. 
I'm sorry, I... I fell asleep and didn't hear the call. I'm sorry I didn't mean for my call to wake you up at all. I'll call you a little later. Or better yet, I'll come visit. Okay, I'll be waiting. That's amazing. Shh. You're such a great liar. Shut up. And leave me alone. No. For once in your life, you're going to sit there and listen to me. Yes, I admit I was wrong. I ruined your career. And you got into a car accident, just like my parents did. And I know you lost your child. You can't even imagine how it's hurting me and it's breaking me to pieces. And I know exactly how to destroy you. I may not be able to tell everyone that you're not who you say you are. But God help me. I'm going to make you do it yourself, whether you like it or not. You're going to do it yourself. You're going to ruin yourself, Yana. You and your lies. What do you think is going to happen when you have to take your bandages off? Oh, Andre. Oh. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I wasn't expecting you. Good afternoon, Olya. How are you doing? What's up with your eye? Oh, it's nothing. I took a bad fall. Hmm. Anna, my dear, the doctor, he's here now. The plastic surgeon from Kiev. Everybody is waiting for you. I better go. I want to see Yana. Mm hmm okay. See you later. It's nice that Andre was here. I knew he wouldn't leave Yana's side. So are you ready now? Let's go. And start. I know I should have come clean, but she threatened to kill herself. I didn't think she'd actually do it. Suicide doesn't sound like a bad idea right now. There's just so much going on that's beyond my control. Yana says it's possible that you'll never wake up, but I can't help but hope. the only thing that'll bring Yana Circus to an end. <sighs> Unfortunately, now all I have to do is sit around and pretend. I'm not sure you can hear me right now, Anna. But find it in your heart to forgive me. Forgive me, please. I'm so sorry. Please be honest with me, doctor. Why aren't you saying anything? Do you think that you'll be able to help me? What you're asking is impossible. It's really impossible. What is it that bad? The thing is that... This is putting it nicely. Your x-ray images before the accident, and the ones after the accident, they're practically two different x-rays. The only explanation is that the girl in the picture and the one sitting in front of me are totally different people. 
And to be honest with you, there is no way that this is your face. Tell me the truth. This isn't you, is it? <laughs>